Welcome to the Rising Phoenix Jetpack Build-Up Tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating all the procedures for creating a fully finished life-size Rising Phoenix Jetpack using these raw resin and fiberglass kit parts. We'll be preparing the body, trimming the detail pieces, and I'll be spending time showing you some painting techniques suitable for an effective application of Alumiluster, my new favorite chrome paint. I wasn't planning on doing this uh, this build up this week, but I've got a, a big open gap in my schedule, so I figured I would go ahead and do the Rising Phoenix. But let me go ahead and just show you that these laser cut parts will go on the sides of the top of the structure. I've got laser cut rubber, ribbed rubber. We've got bricks that we'll be gluing onto the spine here. Thrusters that need this base that glues here. The ball, thruster ball. I think I'll be attaching those with magnets during this build. And then the thruster cone. Amazing detail on these pieces, just incredible. The beacon on the left side and the rod on the right side, these two dudes. This beautiful piece glues to the top up here. And you've got tank caps. This is all standard Boba Fett jetpack stuff. And then a decal that goes here and a nozzle vent that'll glue in here and that's basically your entire kit we're going to be doing something really exciting in this tutorial and that is using a new brand of paint not super new but new to me it's called a luma luster so let's go ahead and start with the body this casting is already very clean. There's very little we need to do with this. I'm using regular body filler just to cover up some of these seams. You just want to go over the edge just a little bit like this. Now that the jetpack body is primered gray, we can see where there might be a little bit of polishing necessary. These are the little chips that go on the spine. So just knock these guys off one at a time. Sand the bottom flush. And that's it. Let's go ahead and start some assembly. I'm putting these laser cut styrene strips in place on top of that area and then these two laser cut rubber ribbed pieces on top inside that and then I've got all of the chips Each of these thrusters is detailed with these little buttons on both sides and they attach to this puck and I want these to stay separate so what I'm going to do is drill in a magnet and then a mating magnet so that they attach this way I've got a magnet inside the cup a mating magnet on the top of the thruster and 
Very nice fit, very tight, portable. We're ready to paint. Here we are out at the paint booth. I've got the separated parts on pins ready to paint. I'm using a black automotive and I'll be clear coating a couple times. And Oh, I've got a noisy cricket here I'm painting also. Here's the jetpack all prepped up. The goal is to get this very shiny black. Glossy, glossy as we can get black. Then we're going to be going over this with Illumiluster. I've, I've also got Molotow. I don't think I have enough Molotow to do this, but I do have enough Illumiluster. So here we go. For the initial base coat, I'm using a Harbor Freight HVLP gun. These cost about 20 bucks and are quite adequate. The black is a standard automotive black and the 2K top coat is available on Amazon. The initial base coat is applied with low pressure very lightly. Then I follow that up with an aggressive wet coat. All these parts have had overnight to dry and they've been baking in the sun a little bit. You can see I got a pretty good fidelity shine on all these parts. Uh, pretty happy with how they all turned out. So I will be applying a Luma Luster. This is my new favorite chrome paint. I used to uh, uh, silver nitrate parts, but now I, I have Luma Luster. And today I'll be applying uh, most of it with my high volume airbrush. With the Luma Luster, I'm, I find it's best to do a very light initial coat and let this dry for a little bit, maybe uh, 10 minutes, and then do a wet coat. So there's a light initial coat. This Aluma Luster really is miraculous stuff. Look at that shine. That's just the first coat. I still have a wet coat to do after this. Amazing. I didn't clear coat any of these parts because I want to keep the luster. You can see it's very shiny. And now we move on to assembly. Okay, the two tank caps glue onto the top of the tanks like this. I'm going to pin these two guys into position into their right spots. This beautiful piece, little epoxy right onto that. And then these will epoxy to that bottom tank and the assemblies magnetically close. Beautiful. There's black stripe vinyl decals that detail this. These have to be trimmed a tiny bit here and there. It looks to me like these inset vents on the nozzles are flat black. So I'm going to carefully paint these all in flat black. 
And it also looks like the inside of the button, this little side button on the thrust assembly is red, just like Boba Fett, so that's going to be red also. There it is, guys, the finished Rising Phoenix. Let me walk around this so you can see the shine on this. I kept it new looking. I didn't add any weathering filters. Just wanted to keep it shiny. But boy, oh boy, look at this guy. It's a beauty. This is proudly going on my office wall as a display. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, this is a very simple kit to build. It was three days. It took a little bit of uh, previous painting knowledge and some Aluma Luster. You can achieve a very similar result using Molotow. And thanks for joining me. I will be providing a link in this video description for the Death Watch jetpack tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to check the links in the description to visit the website and learn more about this process. Thanks for watching.